Hello guys, and today we're doing a mob farm tutorial. So as you can see here, I have got the first bit laid out. Don't forget guys, if you do like this video, please remember to leave a like, favourite and subscribe. And yeah, we're going to get on with this video. So as you can see, uh, this is the start. I've just done one little bit to show you. These are the platforms the mob will be spawning on. This box here for the minute as it is, uh, just showing you where the centre is, um, which is will be helpful in the next stages. Then you've got the outer ring here that goes all the way around. Um, it is an offset square as you can see. Uh, but yeah, so basically what happens is mob will spawn on here once you've got it all built up like that. And then you have dispensers on the next layer and the next layer of that and then the one above that which all pour water down onto each one pouring them all the way down so they fall and land as you can see guy here they will just they spawn them in and they're not to know. Uh you've got to leave roughly either a three or four block gap from here to there and um, otherwise spiders will be able to climb all the way up and plug up the system and you won't get any any good rates because they'll be taking up the spawning uh, amount that's allowed. So as you can see that's that bit done. What you're going to want to do for your next layer is go to the very edge here. Uh, if you haven't yet built this guys then by all means do pause the video and build this but for right now I'm just going to continue. So you go to this bit here or either one of the points and go one, two, three, four, build up a fifth one, third, then four. You then want to come across to here, you want to find your center point, so that's there, and then you're going to want to go nine out from here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it, it's at the edge there, as you can see, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There, again, I've got the same, and same on this side, here. just like so. And then what you want to do guys is you want to fill this in on a diagonal kind of way as you can see there. So one block in every time and it will get smaller and smaller and smaller as you move in more. Like so. So you want to do that for each four of the points. I'm just going to fill these in quickly. And once you've done that I'll show you what you need to do after that. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my previous video um, and also the X Factor Alimers one. I did manage to get it over 100 views. I was happy about that. Um, that was what I wanted. Um, you know, got it to 99. It was there for quite a bit. And eventually, it went over 202. So I was happy I got this button. So thank you guys for all watching that. Um, but yeah, um, I will be getting a pop filter within the next few days, hopefully it should be coming tomorrow but I don't know, it's just down to the postal service uh, so I'll be doing an unboxing of that and a testing um, of that and you know, showing you basically what what it helps you do if for the people that don't know um, and just to see what, other, what a difference it would make to my videos so hopefully that will be coming shortly so you want to, as you saw me then, place four dispensers pointing downwards and put a block just one lower. And you want to get redstone dust and place that there. Put your block on top, get a redstone block. That on there, break that block so you've got a gap there. Then two up, break this one. Get a sticky piston. Place that on there like so. Redstone. And then now you're ready for your next layer. I don't really know anything from there, so yeah, and then you want to go around and place these like so. One. There we go. Oh, and I did forget one thing, guys. You also need to put a uh, fence gate, it doesn't matter which one it can be any. I just like using the acacia, don't, the color. don't open them, leave them shut as they are there, like that. And then you want to again build up another layer, so one, two, three, four. Don't forget, guys, to put your water buckets in as well. I'll be doing it once I've finished building this. Um, but you can put it in now, or you can put it at the end, it's up to you. But yeah, so we're going to build across. You don't need to worry really about the center now. 
just wondering how I'm placing the blocks on here as well. I'm just pressing shift and space whilst flying. So I hold them in the same position. Uh, and then you just do that. So and you can place blocks on the kind of blocks you would normally access. So go to the edges and then fill it in again as you would. Come back in each time. You just keep doing this all the way around until you get the kind of diamond shape down there of the offset square. Um, also, guys, um, I've had quite decent notes on this. Um, although I am struggling to get it to work on my survival world. Now, I don't know what that is, but every mob spawner I've tried on my survival world so far hasn't worked. So I don't think it's to do with the mob spawner. I purely seem to think it's to do my world. I don't know why or what it could be. I mean, I've been around in little bouquets and stuff. Uh, I did cheat and use Game Mode 3, which is uh, like, a bit like no cliff. You've heard of that, but you can just fly through the block and see all the caves and everything. Um, but it was generally something to try and find out the problem to why it wouldn't, it wouldn't spawn any mobs. So, but I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. So I hope we'll be able to figure it out. But this uh, has got good rates. I've had good rates on my creative world, which is the video you saw. The, is the intro to this video, should we say? Um, I hope you liked the intro to that video. Uh, I did create that myself and edited it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Um, you know, it's the first time I've done an intro, so hopefully it worked all right and it went all right for you guys. And then on here. What, if you're wondering what I'm doing there, I'm literally just placing on the side of the redstone because the redstone has a very little box, as you can see there. So basically what I'm doing is I'm placing it on the side of that box just there, which is what I'm managing to, which is the reason why I'm managing to place them uh, the way I am like that. And then we need to and then again go up here, redstone block, and move that block, two up, break, and just keep twisting redstone. And then now that is going to be our input, which is ready to build the roof on and put the block on it, which is what I will get to once I've built the walls. So, oh, and then we'll leave it here. Uh, like that. Right, so now what you want to do, you want to come, as you can see, you've got all three layers now. You want to come to this bit here, right, or, or any part of it, and you want to build down by three. This is to stop the light from being able to flow straight up and through, because if you were to leave it at this level, then this platform gets a little bit more than what you want. So, building down, uh, reduces the light level, making it better for easier and better for mobs to spawn. So you want to come down, go three all the way down, like this, all the way around. And then once I've done this, I will show you how to build up, how high to build the walls up, and what you need, uh, what you need to do next. So. I hope that you guys um, are going to keep watching my content. Um, you know, I try hard to get content out for you guys. It's not always easy. Um, mainly because there's family in the house and stuff. and You don't really want to be making content with family in the house. Um, and it's just kind of difficult sometimes depending on what situation you're in, what it is you're doing. Or anything like that, but when I do get content out, I hope the content that I am releasing is good enough for you guys to be able to watch. Um, it should be getting better now. You know, I've got myself a, a, an editor, so all videos should help be uploaded with audio. I know I had a few issues in the past where they didn't upload any audio, and I do apologize for that. Um, but hopefully, now I've got this editor, they should all go up with audio, uh, they should look better. Um, hopefully, I mean, I don't know. Um, and you know, everything should run smoother. I'm now able to edit things, as I just, you know, as I said, so I can make better transitions and just give you guys better quality. Um, I don't know if so hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy the content that I'm getting in the future. Also, I am getting a pop filter, as I said, so that will make the better content because 
you look at the horrible moustache and one saying that you need to So, yeah, we're going to get on with building this next part now. I'm just going to change the time for you guys. Because you won't be able to see. Time. So, there we go. There we go, guys. Right. So, now, what you want to do, you want to just come to, like, probably the start of these three points, uh, the three wide bits. Because these are the widest parts. You just want to build up, build up, build up, build up until you get to this bit in here. So you want to go on there like that, and then you want to build it one more, go across like so, and then you want to match that up with these three blocks here in this place. There we go. There we go. So that's now going to be your roof level. All I want to do is I want to come around here, put that one, put that one, and put that one. Okay. And now, depending on where you want your input to be, uh, you can obviously decide on that when you build your cloth on the roof. So the redstone can go out of either way now. That way, that way, that way. That's up to you. Uh, I'm going to go for it to be this, like that way. So, I'm going to just throw these up, move these, these, and that be that way. Oh, the misfits. Go for that, there we go. So, now the rest of them are going to go up that way, or whatever, I need it to. Right, so we will build the rest of this. And, yeah, uh, sorry guys, a little bit dirty one. Um, yeah, we're going to build the rest of this and then we will get back to you when I'm finished. I'll catch you in a bit, guys. And that guy's built up. Uh, the sides of the mob spawner now I've built up all the walls uh, going all the way around so that's all good as you saw in the clip there uh, even without the walls on that was spawning a lot of mobs that's purely simply because I'm on a uh, slab world as you can see the enemy have teleported and it is just slab and got void um, but apart from that you know I mean look what like, these mobs are just falling off their own world and there's a lot of loot already around the sides and um, I haven't put the hoppers down here yet that is one thing that you need to do um, which I will eventually go over as well but yeah as you can see all the walls have been built up now um, I'm sorry I didn't do the redstone I kind of got a bit carried away basically uh, this is just a bit from the roof that you saw earlier the top point comes up here and then you put a hopper clock if you guys know how to make that if you don't uh, I'll put a link to a video down in the description uh, where you can find out how to do that, but it is really, really simple. Uh, it is just what it is there, and then you put items in, goes across, moves across, so on and so forth. Uh, then every so often, after it's finished putting the items through, you're pushing a push across to here, activate this redstone, activate this. Uh, I've actually forgot what it's called now. Uh, Monostable circuit, that's it. I have to think then, uh, activate that, which sends a pulse all the way through here, which extends it, puts it through here, and there's redstone underneath there without the heater, which then powers the dispensers, gives the dispensers a one tick pulse, which fires the water out, and then eventually fire, gives it a one tick pulse again, so it fires after that to collect the water. So that's that. Also, as you've noticed, one thing you will want to be doing is covering everywhere on the top of your mob spawner that hasn't got a form of plot, so a redstone, sand, you know, hopper, anything like that. Where they are is alright. Everywhere else you want to cover with hard slabs. Because the top of this gets covered in mobs and it will reduce the amount of spawns you get inside the mob spawner. So you just want to run along, place, place all these all over the top of it until you've covered the whole roof. Once you've done that, then I will go inside and show you. Uh, hopefully a lot of mobs, it all depends because I don't know where I'm coming to stand at the minute. I think we should be able to spawn anywhere we've been on the slab world, but we'll soon find out. 
Um, I do get good rates uh, if I stand. Oh, okay. I've done it before where it's about middle and it's been 8 out this way and 19 out that way uh, on a platform and that seems to get me good rates. Um, but you guys will obviously just have to figure it out in your own world and try and come up with the best area that's going to get you your best spawns. Uh, this all depends on obviously how high you build it, your mob spawner, whereabouts in the world you build it. So the best place I would say building one of these is over an ocean. Um, big open area of water, no area for mobs to really spawn, uh, on a cave and with very little caves in the ocean because how deep they are so that's why they're the best place to have them. What you want to do is just go to an ocean, get a ton of like, stone slabs, wood slabs, whatever it is you want, uh, build like a big square platform by like 40 by 40 or whatever um, and then you put your hoppers on there, a bit higher up, have, have it going down into a load of chests. You know, you do what you want with it, um, but yeah, just for a bit of a, a note to self, uh, being over an ocean is probably the best place to be. So, I need to go and put the water in before I decide to go doing anything. Just throw it out. That's a little trick as well, guys, if you didn't know. Um, as you say, the water's in my image now. Just simply when you go in to whatever you want, say you want uh, granite, a lot of granite, you can just press Ctrl and Q over it, and it just throws it out as you can see, and then you can just jump down, collect it all, throw it in your image. Just gonna get rid of all that, and I'll just throw it on water. And I'm gonna go fill up the uh, mob, uh, we've got to look at the here. And yeah, as you can see, tons of mobs already. This spawns all mobs, um, well, all kinds of overworld mobs anyway. Uh, here's your chance you'll get a witch. I don't think you can see one in there at the minute. Uh, there has been a in here, though there was witches in here earlier. So, I'm going to go around, fill all these up. And then we can start the clock and you'll get to see what really happens. Oh no, we need to build the. Uh, Offers there, so that's a pain on the back side. It's gonna be slow because I need to shift the flag. I don't like doing that. Go to the to the What's lighting up that area? A bit weird, I like that. I'll have a look at that. Let me just go over here and see what this is. Oh, maybe that or what? Ah, there's a lighting glitch. Okay, that's what it is. I need to cover up. Oh no, uh, where's the. I can't say too many of those. Give me a second, let me get the parts out. Should really change my brightness, but I kind of like it, I need it. Right, where's the. Oh, there it is. You want to be covering this as well, guys. Um, so from the inside here, as you see the bottom of the piston, which is in the monostable circuit, you're going to put a block over that. Because when that monostable circuit activates, that piston becomes a transparent block, and therefore lets the light through, reducing the amount of spawns you get here. So, obviously it goes back dark again, but you don't want them to be... You don't want them to be um, spawning... You don't want them to not be spawning, should we say. I'm going to get the mouse out I'm going to put them on here as well. Too. Decide the deciding that they want to spawn on here. There will possibly uh, end up being a mob spawning in there, but unfortunately there's nothing you can do because there's redstone and that will have to go down and activate that redstone, so if they want to spawn in there, then that's just unfortunately they're going to do it, so yeah. Um, right, so I'll remove these parts from now. I'll not just cool it up. You don't even have to use a full block if you don't want to, you can use a half sod as well, it just can never change it so that it's less, you know, taking up less room. Not that it makes a difference anyway, because this is literally just a cover for the actual pond itself. But yeah, as you can see all the mobs. So now what you want to do is, guys, you want to come down here and look at this, you can zoom all the way through all this. Yeah, it's still falling. There we go. I think that's plenty of loot for a little session here. 
as it, I'm not exactly being AFK, I'm not, that's already, you know, a decent amount of loot. And you just keep on falling. So what you want to do, guys, is you want to get, not, not get hoppers. When you get hoppers, and preferably build it a little bit higher than where you're going to stand in. Because obviously you're going to want to be able to have it go down in the chest. Uh, chest areas, so that's one, two, three, two, four. I'll go five up there. There's the hoppers. And they're just falling as I'm just stood down there. The clock's not even running, they're just walking off the edge. So I need to find the centre, because that's where your main one's going to be. Centre one's going to be. There it is. Right, so. Well, we don't want to go back 12 out guys on this so that uh, all the mobs get, because when they fall obviously the area they fall out of the and that's the platform, so you're going to want to go wider so that all of the mobs are going to fall onto the platform and just fill this in uh, do it obviously all the way around and um, I'll build through the quarters afterwards and this all the way down and these, these mobs are still falling they've not, they've not stopped falling yet which is good it shows that we're going to get good rates um, Obviously, rates may vary due to the fact that I'm on a um, you know super flat pass slab world. If you also want to know how to get this, guys, I will do a tutorial on that um, because it isn't because it's not preset there. You have to change it. Um, but yeah, if you want me to do a tutorial on it, you know, in your life and comment down in the uh, description, just saying you know I want a tutorial for it, and I can easily get that done. Okay, so he fell and survived. Now I'm just wondering if that because hmm. right, that could be a little worrying. The fact that some of them are surviving and they're falling at this. Yeah, they are. Some of the two that's starting to win it. Right, okay, so maybe not five. Yeah. So we can't do it that high because otherwise they'll still survive the fall. So we need to load it down by one. Sorry about that, now I'm going to take longer. <laughs> but yeah, probably lower it down by one and then I think that should kill them. Hopefully. At least 90% of them anyway. And what doesn't die um, will eventually be spawn anyway. So, or you could just go in with your sword if you wish. Um, have like a set of snares to access it because um, you're going into an area to get blocked or anything like that and just go in, access it and you can kill them that way so but it should only be very few that, that kind of stay alive hopefully I don't know what, how high though it is high enough but clearly not I'm just going to change the time because I don't know what you guys can see there we go. Probably that should be a bit better. If that's got more time. Let's go back into here. What's happening? Yeah, like they're surviving, so. There's something we can. Kind of look. And these chicken jockeys, uh, they will survive, um, unfortunately. They, I can't even knock them off. That chicken does not want me to let him knock him off. Wow, oh, okay. I think he might be a bit, no. There we go. Okay, then that was bizarre. But yeah, so let's remove this. That one over there. I know, but even then they're going to spawn on the thing, aren't they? Ah! 
trouble, trouble, trouble. Right, guys, so I'm gonna have a bit of a tweak around with this, uh, because obviously due to the height and what have you, and I will get back to you when I've had a, had a look and I've sorted it. A bit so I'm back, guys. Uh, I did sort the uh, issue I was having out, and I just lowered it a little bit more. So there's still room underneath here for you to walk, as you can see, because it's all the mobs looting away. Um, there's still enough room for you to walk, and to be able to put uh, hoppers down through the floor and into the in a, into your chest and your storage system, whatever. Um, but I've just done a bit of a little layout here. As you can see, so you've got all these hoppers going this way, and then directly into the centre one, and then the same for there, and it will be the same for here as well. So you just want to do the same as what I was doing last time, press shift and space at the same time, hold them together, and then just use your S button and press, press these and go backwards, and then put a torch on here, and every two blocks, leave two blocks, press the torch. And so you want to keep your platform lit because mobs will spawn on here. And because these are classed as solid blocks, as you can see. Uh, yeah, because all the thing is the natural full box around it rather than it just being a transparent block. So you've got to put, yeah, put you've got to put torches on these so that mob don't spawn on here. So from that, so now you've got the X of uh, hoppers. You now just want to run the hoppers like this into here all the way along. So you want to into there and then into it to the right, so you do it all the way along and in there, and there, and there like so. And you can just keep doing it all the way along until you've covered the whole area. As you saw there, guys, look, that's a witch itself. Witches are extremely strong, um, so they are one of the mobs that you're going to have to probably go and kill. Um, it is rare that you get them, I think I've had three since I built this. Um, so yeah, obviously it's not rare if they are going to be. Uh, if you're going to be building this and then air painting air flowers, you're probably going to need like 30 of them. But, you know, just for the whilst I do here, I've had three. Uh, and, you know, even if they're punching a few times, they're still, they're still quite strong, as you can see. Uh, I'm extremely strong. I don't know how much help you guys had. Wow. The guy's going to leave him. He's going to build. He's, he's strong. So let's see, so then ones are going into that set of hoppers, and now you want to be putting these ones in this set. Okay, another one just because I didn't want to spawn. It's not doing me so well so far from the mob of it. This is. You're making me look like a liar. Stop it. Don't do this to me. But at least um, they should hopefully kind of walk off the sides anyway. Um, and. Even if you wish, you could put like a water stream around the sides, and any mobs that fall in there, you could lead them to a, you know, like a lava slicer. Mob slicer where you just have a blade of lava um, and a gap underneath, and that will um, destroy, kill the mobs, but won't destroy any of the um, drops that they drop, you know, the loot, won't drop any, it won't destroy any of this, they'll just drop it. So again, as you can see, that hopper goes into that chain, that one one's going into that chain, and these ones are now going to go into this chain here, as you can see. So we're just going to start running them down here, like so. As you think, why is that still in this round? As I say, guys, it is just down to height, and um, I probably should have built that a little bit higher up. Um, I saw that could have survived, so I think it is a case of it needs to be a little higher. If, if anything, you could probably you could, you could probably put them through a lava blade uh, if that was possible, but I think doing that it would kill them as they. Uh, but I don't know. You know, all I can say is. Um, it's just for you to, to tweak with. Um, if you guys can improve this most fun, please do do a video of it uh, and then leave me the link to that video in the comment section below and I'll watch that, have a look, and I might maybe obviously use it and tweak it and be able to re upload that video and give your channel a shout out um, for you know, helping tweak the design. So, but it is purely and simply just down to um, how high you build your most fun. How low your 
uh, four platformers. So this is all going to mob died. Um, and uh, as you saw, the mob died. So that was a good thing. Um, sometimes it goes, sometimes it won't. These guys didn't want to. They the one hit kill. But even even still, you know, they're only on a one hit kill, so you could easily run on here and just punch them. It will really make a difference. Uh, they're not going to blow up or shoot them or kill you or anything because they're, they're too low health. By the time you get to them, yeah, they probably shot you once, but you managed to you know, manage to kill them just with one punch. Uh, Endermen won't stay in the mob spawner. Uh, they'll spawn, but then they teleport out due to the fact of uh, using water. Um, as you can see, there's all of these mobs. Uh, I will start running the clock now. Get the sorry, man. Now the um, farm is all done. Just push my hippos in here. <laughs> I don't like the pattern. I'm not putting these guys in. Yeah, that's kind of a cool pattern as well actually, you want to get the green lights. So run over here, and then as you see you've got space for chests and stuff. If you wish, you could also do this with a dropper. So, in there like that, into a water stream. Then you're going to want to place a half slab. Oh, that's not a half slab. You're going to place a half slab just there yeah, like that. And then the items will slide all the way along when it gets to um, So the water will now just go like that. Sorry guys, it's a bit um, The items will now flow down the water and because it's on pack ties, one of the pack ties will melt and two it will keep the items going through. So now you can just play through the water there, which I'll do in a second. And then you can run that then into the uh, so storage room, kind of like so. Or you could, yeah, do this. And then, if you wish, you could like so. And you just put chests out. So chest, chest there, like that. And the hopper will always suck before it drags out and along. So basically, it'll fill this chest up first, and then I'm going to do this one after that. Um, There we go. Uh, so yeah, I'll go all the way along. I can go down into there and into here. Once it's done that, yeah, I can go along here and here. And like this, so on and so forth. Do it as long as you wish. Um, but to get all the expense of it, we now need to come around here. Come around here like this. Make a platform. And. These blocks are really necessary. So you're going to want to get the block, you're going to want to get a comparator. I'm going to get a comparator, redstone, and then you're going to want to Put that down like that with redstone. Ah, I did it last time. Uh, 
Cái gì mà mà ai gì? Đó số này là nhất. And what you can do is run away. This out here like this. Run, run, and clear. And that will now shoot out the items as you can see. Actually, what's up with the And all the items will flow down here. Oh, I'm not going to put them in the room. Stop them. And then you can do that. And the items are now all going in there. You can get some glass. Like the kind of blue stone plain glass. And put that across the top. Make sure that items don't fly out. And yeah, that's it sorted. So now um, this chest has got it all. And this has none. There's obviously a hopper will always sit where it sits at one. Um, again, to reduce the mobs that can spawn on here, we put ourselves all in there, all on here as well. Come on here like this. And then there we go. So that's it, guys. Uh, oh no, it isn't. Oh, sorry, it isn't. I didn't put the items in the cloth. I'm give you a few. You want to come up here? Get. I usually use about 26 items for this, um, but obviously you'll see which one, what, you know, the amount you want to use when it comes to it. And um, there you go, guys. That is the mob farm probably working. Um, again, as I said, some mobs will survive, some mobs won't, depending on the farm you come. The ones that don't, just run on and hit them. Uh, I ain't got no special here, as long as you take it, but I'll leave them to one hit. So, uh, yeah, and you know, it is just down to you. These are just strong as hell. So, uh, it's all down to you where you build it, where your platform is. Uh, Enderman will TP to the, um, to the hopper thing here, but they won't, they won't, um, they won't spawn on, on there and they won't die either because of what it is. And as you can see there, all the items coming through. So, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, in this video. Please, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.